All right, here we're going to look at the first of a few uh, examples involving rounding of whole numbers. And what we do to round whole numbers, um, uh, first off, we locate the digit one place to the right of the digit in the indicated rounding place. So we're going to figure out what number we want to round to, and we're going to look uh, one place to the right. If it's five or more, you basically round up that digit by one. If it's four or less, we leave it alone. And then we just change all digits to the right of the rounding place digit to zeros. So um, to me, when it looks all wordy like that, it looks more complicated than what it is. But OK, so um, in this case, it says round the following to the nearest 10. So OK, the 10's place is going to be uh, where the 6 is located, where the 7 is located, and where the 8 is located. And again, what we do is we just look one place to the right of that digit. So in this case, I look to the 3. Well, OK, so according to my rule, since it's 4 or less, it says we don't change the, the, this number at all. So we're just going to leave that as a 6. And then it says, uh, starting in the next place, we make all of those numbers into zeros. So 63 would simply round down to 60. OK, so uh, my next one, 77, I look one place to the right. And well, that's 5 or greater. So since it's 5 or greater, it says we increase uh, the 10's the digit by 1. So if we increase by 1, we'll get an 8. And again, everything to the right of that, well, there's only one number, turns into a 0. Last but not least, 85. Well, I look at my number uh, 5. It, again, the rule says if it's 5 or larger, we round up. So I'm going to round, uh, or I'm going to increase it by 1. So um, I'm going to increase the 8 to a 9. And again, everything else to the right turns into zeros. So my 85 has now been rounded up to 90.